Hi everyone, I'm Thibaut, I work for Egalia, it's an open source consultancy company, um, mostly specialized in web engines, uh, Chrome and, uh, and WebKit, Firefox, etc. But we have a multimedia team where we work with JStreamer. So JStreamer is a cross-platform uh, open source multimedia framework, so you can deal with audio and video for anything you want with JStreamer. Uh, it basically wraps other APIs like decoders, encoders, etc., and then you can deal with it with a standardized uh, API on top of all that. It's uh, installed on all Linux distribution by default, and uh, it's used in many industries such as TVs, uh, set-top boxes, uh, rendering farms, and things like that. On, on top of that, we have the gesture editing services, which is a higher-level API to do video editing only, like post-production video editing, uh, where we introduce high-level concepts such as timeline projects, layers, tracks, um, etc. So what we thought will be very interesting for us is um, to, to integrate JStreamer and Open Timeline IO. So what we started doing is implementing an XGS adapter inside uh, Open Timeline IO so that we could convert um, Editor cuts from any software, any supported formats to, uh, to the JStreamer internal format, XGS, and uh, the other way also, so that we are like compatible with all formats supported by Open Timeline IO. And on top of that, we implemented, we wanted to have like native support inside the JStreamer editing services for the Open Timeline IO format. So we implemented, we implemented a JS audio formatter, which means that uh, you can load any uh, file supported by audio or an audio file itself inside JS Remoting Services and play back the timeline as uh, with any other, as with native XGS format. Um, so we have full support of uh, Open Timeline I.O. inside the JS Remoting Services, which means that you can just play back JS Launch is a very simple command line tool that allows you to, uh, you can describe a timeline with a specific format or you can load like an external timeline from a file. So here in the first example, we just play a foo.auto and it just like plays back, doing everything generally uh, as if it was a XGS file. I mean, yeah, just a description of the timeline, we just support it. Uh, then you can render that uh, in the format you want. So here in the second example, we just load the foo.auto file OTIO, and we render it to a rendered foo.mkv, and we specify the format. Like, we say, okay, we want that to be in Matroska uh, with AV1 uh, video codec and uh, Opus as an audio codec. So that just, like, renders the timelines described by the, the foo.audio file. Um, and we can also use a JS launch like a um, conversion tool. So here we can just, like, launch uh, foo.xml, which will be in that case like Final Cut Pro XML file, and just save it on disk. So it's very similar to the auto converting, but we can just use like JS Launch because that's a feature that we already had and it's all like natively um, supported in JS, so we can take advantage of, take advantage of that. Oh. I think you missed the slide. But. <laughs> Uh, the slide was about, we actually have went one step down the, all that and we implement a GS Demuxer inside JStreamer so that inside JStreamer we have like full support of editorial uh, files format and like if you have a JStreamer based player you can just uh, play Final Cut Pro, let's say Final Cut Pro files and we internally could just like run a GS timeline and play it back as if it was like a native multimedia file. And all that allows us to, um, in, in video editing application that use the JS editing services, we can just like load a file that was edited in Final Cut Pro X, for example, and then just load it in PTV, which is the video editing tool uh, that we build on top of, uh, of the JS editing services. So it's Pretty, pretty nice. Um, and in the future, we are planning on moving to, for the GS audio formatter, we would like to use the C++ API. Uh, some bits are missing, as you cannot like, 
uh, to the conversion with the adapters with the plain C++ API right now, from what I can see. Um, something to be done, I guess. And uh, we're working, we're actually working on uh, implementing nested timelines in the XGS Ocho adapter. Uh, we, have, we added support for uh, nested timelines recently in GS itself, and now we just leverage that uh, in Ocho. And all that work is all in JStreamer master, so you can just grab it. You have to build master right now, but like in six months, it's going to be released, all that, around six months. Um, and then we provide binaries for Mac, Windows, uh, Linux, yeah, obviously, and, uh, and uh, iOS and, and Android also. Not really interesting in that case, but you could use that there too. Thank you.